The gentleman in the back, hand is up. Yes, sir. My name is Jonathan Schwartz. I'm from Spring Hill, Tennessee. Congresswoman, first and foremost, thank you. Um, what we've been seeing in, a lot on TV in the past week are people exercising their constitutional rights to speak out for what is right for them and their families. A lot of people don't always agree. That's the American way. As I said, my name's Jonathan Schwartz. I'm African American, so don't label me a racist. I'm Jewish, don't label me a Nazi. <laughs> It is more a challenge than a question that I have for you, Congresswoman, to represent me and my family. I know what it's like to be uninsurable. I've gone through that. My daughter almost died because I did not have insurance and was too proud and too embarrassed to rush her to the hospital with a bursting appendix. Things have changed. Things have gotten better for me and my family thanks to the state of Tennessee. However, the government will not dictate what level of health care I deserve or that my children deserve. I don't need them having access to my bank accounts. I don't need them having access to all the medical problems that I personally had in the past. Case in point, why? We have two people running this, this country. We have politicians and we have leaders. Congresswoman, you are a leader. Everyone else... The challenge that I have for you, we live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yeah. I am asking you to be brave and represent the people of Middle Tennessee well. I ask you to be brave and represent the Schwartz family very, very well to go back to Washington, D.C. and tell them, leave our health care alone, fix our Medicare, stop bankrupting Medicare, stop bankrupting the future of my children and their children and their children. We deserve better. Right. Amen. that is clear to the point that we can read not only congressional people but people like me and you we need to understand don't forget who elected people and put them in office exactly don't right. forget who paid the taxes that's paying for all of it it is everybody here in this room and it is about time to look out to say to everybody we are part of the brave that's right. we are going to stand up we are going to talk out about our future whether we are white black, conservative, liberal, whatever, we are taking the stand. Yeah. Right. Well said. I just love a town hall meeting that is participatory. Look what great things happen when you give the American people the mic. Right. <laughs> and I am so glad everyone is speaking up. Dennis, as I told you, this is some of the most focused, most dedicated, God-fearing, freedom-loving Americans on the face of the earth. They're right here.